Yo, um, so this is gonna be a longer video, but um, you know, we're just, we're just going to jump right into this, and um, it's mainly going to be about content on the channel and where it's going, and uh, my thought process behind it because recently, um, at, le at least even for like a few years, it's been more or less we've been going back and forth, and I've been testing out the waters. And um, if you guys know anything about social media, it's a very interesting place right now, especially when it comes to uh, moderation, who's in charge of it, um, everything. We, we can go all the way from like TikTok to Twitter to uh, even YouTube and how um, a lot of it is coming back down to uh, the elites being in control, right? That's really what it comes down to. Um, now, that does not give any room for excuses. However, um, that's really why a lot of things have changed, especially since like what I would call like the golden years, which would be like fucking like 2016, because that was like really when I liked how things felt. And I think a lot of people did too. Um, however, um, in this period, I've been trying my best to like kind of spread out my baskets, right? You know, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, kind of that ideal. So I worked on uh, TikTok, Twitter, I did a little bit of Instagram that sucked, um, but mainly then Twitch and YouTube. And what I tried doing was separating uh, YouTube for videos and then Twitch for streams. And um, I was kind of in a place of limbo just because of the fact that things weren't really meshing correctly the way that I liked uh, making content before. Um, so what I did was, uh, especially with my time constraints, um, which I'll get into that later. Basically, I put all my effort really into Twitch at the time. And I mean, you guys can obviously clearly tell just by like my timeline that there is a lot that went into it. Um, that's where I got the most monetization. That's where I got the most money. And for, I would say something that's just, um, short term and flexible. I'm glad of that decision I made because, um, I was able to make, I have been able to make hundreds off that. And that's really what's been holding me through, at least through college. Right. Um, and I mean like, you know, the, the fact that I am within, at least within like that one percentile still of actually being able to like, like make money off of like, you know, playing a fucking game. I mean like. <laughs> It kind of makes you want to like dance all over the fucking bodies. They're like not able to do that shit. So it's it's dope. It's dope. But um, it's still not to the point that I know that I should be or where I've been putting effort into. And um, when I don't feel like I'm getting my worth out of, that's when I start leaning more into other things. Um, and that's why I try to start do on uh, new things as well, such as like for example, what I never like doing is giving up on like a project that doesn't succeed right away, especially if I care for it a lot. However, um. I'm also like dead set on a goal. Like if I have a vision, like it's just like either if I care about it, either I'm getting it or you're going to fucking kill me. Cause like my determination towards things, I have not seen another person beat my determination towards things. Nobody has ever beat me on ever. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. So, um, when I look at, um, this new channel I did, it was what beginning of, uh, no, it was late September. Um, already did pretty good, especially view wise. And what that told me was that um, analytically, and especially from uh, what I've been studying, because I like studying algorithms, especially when it comes to YouTube. I know a lot about the algorithm of YouTube. Um, I know my way around the court. Um, what happened with the OG channel, right, is basically because I have so much variety, it doesn't know where to push things. And because um, a lot of the videos I did at the time, and this, this was um, true, at least to an extent, it, we just didn't know the uh, the amount at the time. Videos, shorts, and live streams, which are all different forms of media, were then put into separate algorithms. And surprise, surprise, because I do variety, I did everything on that same channel as well, um, which I like doing. I like kind of pushing as much bulk as I can into like a single area. However, um, that didn't do well with that channel, especially since it wasn't in one category. And when I started the other channel, um, it, it did a little bit better. Um, however, the issue is, and this is where, our, like, and I have this debate a lot of times, and I, I can see both sides. When you do variety versus a hard topic, you got to make sure that hard topic is, is going to survive. Because you can get connected to that, but generally, if you have variety, there's a lot more flexibility. Because let's say one part of that topic dies you can still jump onto another topic and then it kind of rinses and repeats, right? That's why actors do very well because if one genre of film doesn't do well, if they have another film that does well, they can jump onto that, right? Um, however, um, if you are known for only working on like, 
let's say cell phones, right? You're, you're not like an engineer that works on all these other stuff. You only work on like cell phones. And then, oh, guess what? We don't need cell phones anymore. You're fucked. You are fucked. Um, and you know, I am going to rant about this for a bit. Because like, I, I do like the fact that you should hyper fixate on things. I think you should. Anybody that is obsessed about things are the ones that succeed. They are the ones that win. It's just, it's as simple as that. The guy that goes to the gym six days out of the week versus that one dude that might stay there a bit longer, that goes there like two days, he's going to do better than the guy that goes there six days. Because, or no, the guy that goes there Tuesdays. Uh, because guess what? Like, the, the consistency is not there. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. So, um, you need that. You need that basis. Um, and I, I really do think it's also saying that, like, you can't bullshit yourself either. You, you can kind of, like, start out bullshitting yourself. Um, what's the word for it? Fake it until you make it, right? But there comes a point where it literally is an aura around you. Like, like you don't even have to say anymore, like, um, I care about this thing. Like, people literally see, like, okay, this, mo- this motherfucker's serious. Um, that's what should happen with what you do. So um, I was doing that other route, and it did well. But I was having a feeling of... Um, I wasn't motivated to do that just because of the fact that I already felt that this wasn't panning out the way I wanted it to, um, which was Deba Daily. I do like Deba Daily, but um, I wasn't getting along with the community that much. Uh, the devs wasn't, yeah, I wasn't getting along with that. And a lot of people did, like at least I'm originally coming in, enjoyed what I was talking about, but it's just, I wasn't digging it. Um, now, this isn't a discussion about me uh, doing Deba Daily because I probably am, so I jump into it a little bit. Um, however, it's more a discussion of where we're going forward. Um, I have been kind of pulling back a little bit this more because uh, mainly I do this to stay stable. Uh, my number one focus right now is uh, financials. Everything else right now was at least in my life stability wise is pretty good. Um, with my schooling, I'm in the top five percentile with everything. Um, I've been able to stay um, literally within a, a 3.9 GPA, which is fucking crazy and i've actually had 4.0s before so i mean like I'm, I'm in a high high standard um i'm in a world premiere play i am making my own play which i'm also going to be doing two shows um i am also in the one percentile when it comes to lifting right now um at least for my body weight and whatnot so for effort that i've been putting in outside of this i'm very proud of my results however at the end of the day results are what matters and uh, one thing that um I need to stay stable on, um, which I won't get too, too much into details just because, like, hey, it gets more into personal shit, but um, it's financials. And um, I've been able to stay afloat with um, doing streaming, which I'm really glad, especially when I have just a fucking horrible schedule like I do, um, where it's like, okay, gotta be here this time, gotta be here this time, gotta be here this time. Um, usually when I have, like, school days, it's either 12 hours or more. That's that's how my schedule goes. So it's, it's a bitch. Um, and then... Having to say a schedule with like, you know, streaming and whatnot, I mean like unless I know I'm gonna get for sure feedback from it, like I'm not sure if I wanna like <laughs> schedule play, you know, fucking playing a game that I might not like. So it's just, you know, um it is the way it is. But um again, I'm I'm very interested in algorithms and I'm very interested in um knowing exactly where the pinpoint is when it comes to things. So that if I am gonna I'm gonna do something, then I'm gonna do it, right? Um so, um, I thought I would try again with this channel, um, and mainly it was just because like I wanted to get away from just strictly being with DVD because DVD was dying out, right? Or at least I didn't like the way it was going, so I I kind of pulled away again, and uh, that was the video from three weeks ago, right? Um, made a bunch of videos. I'm very c- proud of of the quality I put in. Um, however, there's another video that I saw um, based on algorithms, right? And it actually discussed how YouTube is going forward. And um, essentially, you have videos, shorts, and live streams all coming together that are now actually gonna support your channel. What this means is the art's still in their own algorithms. However, once someone subscribes to your channel or if someone watches enough of that, it will slowly merge algorithms. So it's not gonna just be videos, shorts, and live streams if you have a consistent viewer, which is literally what people have been asking for. Um, I still have issues with YouTube a lot, a lot. Um, especially since like a lot of it comes to helping elites and when there is um, 
I would say injustice on the on the site. They don't, they don't give a shit. They don't they don't give a rat's ass. And the people that usually has to cl- like do the cleanup are the actual members um, on the site that are uh, credited. You know, they have a little bit of prestige, um, and it's a little diabolical in that sense. But um, what I'm going to do, just because um, I've been kind of staying on Twitch as a safety blanket, and um, it's not long for. I tried a little bit of it during the uh, the summer, which don't get me wrong, it wasn't consistent, but I would say I've been doing Twitch for a while. Um, I do like so live stream, don't get me wrong, I'm just, this is where I'm going with this though. Um, and uh, this summer I worked. Um, I was off a little bit too, just because I, I I had a little bit of wisdom teeth surgery and um, other stuff with um, relationships. But it's just, I didn't see it really going over there with the audience that I currently have and size. Um, I think Twitch is a good way to grow if you're already, at least on like Twitch's website, like within that substrata um, of like partnerships, right? Um Right now, I'm an affiliate, which, that's just not going to cut it. So, um, I have played with the big dogs before, but I need to be consistent with that. And what I find generally where things actually do change rapidly and boost is YouTube. It's just that algorithm has been against me. I did a video of that um, all the way back when I decided that I was going to switch over. And um, that was my reason. Things have changed, though. And one thing I've been able to consistently get thousands of views at the very least, hundreds is um shorts. Now, um, videos, and this, this is my assumption. I don't know. Um, a lot of people say it too, but I haven't seen like an actual graph. Um, but from the data I've been able to get from putting into the machine, I can kind of make some assumptions. So here's here's what I'm gonna tell you. Um, when I do live streams, that's when the most notifications go out. So I bring back most people. Videos do usually the the poorest. However, when the start snowballing, they do the best. Shorts, however, shorts are the ones that in real time will get the best views. Why is that? Why is that? The reason for that is because that there is such a low number of shorts right now within the big cesspool bank of YouTube that even if you throw shit out there, you're probably gonna have someone see it. This is a time to start doing shorts. Like if you're if you're a YouTuber or something, or you actually give a shit about this, this is the time to do it. And I I don't like short content just because again, I don't think it leads up to something big at the end. However, the reason I'm making this message right now is because all three of them are sound like are starting to work together. Um, when it comes to videos, shorts, live streams. So what I'm going to do is um up until at least um when I go on winter break, which is going to be around like December 10th. Um from now until then, so about a month. Um I'm going to be trying to put basically everything into this channel um so you're going to be seeing a bunch of videos a bunch of shorts a bunch of live streams and the goal is that we're going to be seeing immense growth and uh, end goal is basically 10,000 uh, subs that's that's the goal that's the goal um huge growth huge risk um it's a month now the reason i feel so good about this is because um i've been doing twitch for a while i know how to commit myself to this and um i've made it through rough periods where even longer than a month and shit hasn't really moved um now i've been able to commit myself to a lot of things like that um such as working out such as college such as theater all of which i have been successful every single one the issue with this though is that I want faster results. I want faster results and I want more results. And um, a lot of times when I talk to people about this, a lot of them will say it comes off as um, arrogant. Where it's like, oh, well, you want more of this, blah, blah, blah. That happens. You shouldn't expect that. Just, just be reasonable. Take some time. I am not like most people. I do not want to give more time. To a fucking machine that doesn't give a shit. So, that's why I'm giving this a month. I'm giving this a month. We'll see how this goes. If not, then I'm going to go back to Twitch and we'll, we'll just, you know, see how this goes and then, you know, whatnot. But this, 
I'm going to give everything I've got for at least a month. And I, I have a high, high, high suspicion that we are at least going to get fucking close as shit to that goal, if not exceed it, because of the shorts that we're going to be doing. My goal is that at the very least, every day I'll be able to upload a short. Um, every other day, maybe a video. And then every day that there's a short, you'll see um, a live stream. That's the goal. Um, and with all those coming together, I think it's going to not only build up the community, um, get us some new viewers, but it's also going to lead to a little bit more of a longevity that will bring back a cult following within the channel. That's the goal. Um, so, why, why am I making this video? Why, why, why am I actually like discussing this? Basically, what I'm saying is um, all that effort that we put into the Twitch. This goes for more like the long-time fans, all, all the people in internal. All the time we put into the Twitch, um, we made hundreds on. We're going to put into this now. We're going to do a big gamble. So, um, if, if you have to be like, you know, active again on the, on the Discord and you're wondering like, you know, what, when's the time to be active? Because, again, I'm gone a lot um, previously just because like I would focus on college work. Because like, no shit, you know. Um, I, I have priorities. Especially when I don't know things will succeed. However, um, if I was putting in like a, if, I, if I'm having my foot in the gas like 60% then, right? Um, this is going to be like 100 past that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pushing nitrogen. So that's what this is going to be. Um, I prefer that if uh, you guys can, um, whenever I make a post on the community part of this um, channel, which I'm going to be doing a lot. Of, I'm going to be putting a lot on the community part. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot more posts. Um, like it, comment, right? Um, same thing with um, being on a stream. I'm going to try my best to do that more frequently. Um, I'm going to be trying to get the biggest games. We'll jump on that. Um, the biggest thing for our community right now is to start actually becoming live again and um, being more active. That's going to be the biggest thing. And um, even if you're not on streams for like the longest time, even if you just leave a comment, that's what's going to really help. Um, but... Uh, w w with everything I've been doing recently, um, I, I feel a little bit more okay taking this gamble, especially since I, I did save up a good chunk of money uh, this summer while working. So um, I feel I feel good about that. Um, it's dwindling because because I have been betting a lot on uh, food and protein shakes, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's paying off. So. Um, I'm going to be putting in more time into these reviews you guys have been seeing. Um, I'm going to be making shorts on old form content. Um, and then I think we're going to be doing a lot more like playthroughs of things. And um, I think with this um, variety, at least something's going to click and uh, we'll be able to skyrocket back the same way. And, and this is a big if, but I really do think it's going to be the same way as two years ago when we were able to get about 4,000 subs. That was that was pretty nutty. That, that was pretty fucking nutty, right? And then literally every video, like, at the very least, got hundreds of views. Um, that's, like, they put that into, like, into an image. That's more than my college YouTube channel. Don't get me wrong, it's just a fucking small-ass college, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to brag about this. That's more than my college YouTube channel has ever gone in its entire lifetime. Hundreds, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't even get hundreds of views. In its entire lifetime. So, if this is doing better than a college, or at least it has, that's why I'm putting all my eggs into this basket. Um, my goal also is that I would like to make um, a thousand, at the very least, from this month. Um, if not, a little bit more. Um, the th threshold is a thousand. Um, I've made cumulatively like thousands before. Um, which I'm really grateful for. Like, this big-ass PC, that's you guys. That's you guys. The big PC right here, that's that's you. Um, curve monitor, that's you. Um, so I'm really happy about that. However, um, I know that this can go higher, and I've seen this go into insane levels before. Um, so that's what I want to do. Another thing that's also going to be big is the Discord. One place I'm really always active on is Discord, just because I have a little bit more of an easier connection with you guys to talk. Um, I, I don't really like forum-based areas. I, I like more... Um, free form so I, I like discord um you guys can if, if at least if you're new or you're deciding to come back 
jump on the Discord. You mean a lot to me. Um, it's it's just my way of keeping them. It's it's like I don't know if you use fucking Facebook or Twitter. It's like that except like less cringe. Okay, jump jump on the Discord. Don't don't be a pussy. Um, so um, that'd be good. Uh, last thing I'm going actually I'll discuss on the stream. Let's just I'll discuss on the stream. So um, probably should end this with like a like a cool little thing, but I don't really know what I got. Um, here's what I will tell you though. From everything else I've been very um, consistent with, generally, out of the 30 days, I take about four to three days off within that period. Um, and every single time when I track something like that, I get results. Every single time. And um, I'm proud of that. The issue, however, is that... Um, it, and this goes with all things. I, I truly do believe this. What you get, what you put in is what you get out, right? And if you want to get average results, you've got to put in average effort. Fair, right? Um, it, it's it's kind of like you can't just bullshit the universe, right? Like eventually that, that fabric of fate that you twisted is going to just pull back and then whack, and then it's going to get you. Um, so... With this, I've been putting in more than average result, and I've been getting some good shit. I mean, like, most people fucking don't even make money off this shit. But no, nobody, like, really fucking, it's just, you don't. I mean, you hear it on the news sometimes, but, like, really. Um, but, my, my big point is that, um, I've put in above average things with, um, everything else that I've been able to really schedule and have a feasible objective right? Especially when I risk a lot. Um, with my physique, I've been very proud of that. Um, I've been going to the gym for years. However, I have taken a few tights off. Um, but it's also been in sacrifice for like, let's say schooling, right? Um, and now before and after pictures, like I I'm able to lift more than my body weight in every single aspect of lifting. Um, and that's, it's pretty badass. Or at least most. I mean, like there's some fucking wacky shit you can come up with, but basically at all, that, that's that's awesome. And um I feel very proud of that. Especially when there's like people like my size that can't lift the same thing. Um when it comes to schooling, same thing. I mean, like almost every semester now I've been able to have at least an A. You know what I mean? And that's also pretty fucking kick ass. Um, if it's not that then it's like a fucking A minus, right? Like, fuck. Um and then I've been in theater a lot, which um, I, I feel really proud of the fact that um, I know a lot of friends that back in the day, they would shit on me for it, or they would think that I wouldn't pull through. And now here I am doing a fucking world premiere. Um, my point is, I don't really give a fuck what people say. I don't. Because at the end of the day, my eyes are past them, and it's at that goal. And every single time when I gave a shit, I reached. Um, and every single time when I've had people here that actually were along and giving it their all as well, we were able to not only have my 100%, but then slowly turn 200, 225, 250, blah, 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 blah. Um, if we're going to have to reach this goal, it's going to have to be like at a fucking 100,000%, right? Because I know how much I can put in. But what you guys put in is also what's going to add up to this crazy fucking number. And um, I know what it means to surpass your limits that's one thing that i fucking live for um today at the fucking gym dude i fucking had the craziest pump i'll probably show that on my uh, on the community thing actually today because i took a fucking awesome screenshot but i had the craziest fucking pump right and it was because i was fucking killing my goddamn biceps to the point where i was literally passing my limits like you know i, I wasn't able to lift this fucking weight before but because i was like no today's the day guess what i fucking did it same thing here um I do have an end goal. I do have things planned out, and we are going to do those things. However, um, we can't be going by the same average rules that fucking Joe Smo sits down at his fucking chair and says, well, maybe I'll do this today. Well, maybe you're not going to do it. Maybe you're going to be a fucking fat, lazy shit. I don't want to be that. I don't want to maybe. So... How about we don't set our ass and do maybes, and how about we make that a certainty? Yeah, so that's what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to make a schedule. Hopefully, 
we can say to that. If it doesn't happen, I will keep you guys informed. And um, we're going to break our limits. Um, let's, let's make it hashtag limitless. That sounds pretty sick. I, I think that sounds pretty badass. Let's do that. Let's do that little hashtag. And um, I will see you guys tonight. Um, it'll probably be later tonight, sadly, because I had something come up. So I, I got I to gotta leave at some time um, later. Um, probably going to be around like 7. But um, stream will be later tonight, like probably 9. I'll, I'll make a community post. And um, you guys will be seeing shorts and videos more often. Um, let's hit this shit. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And um, <sighs> let's fight for a future so bright. Surprise. My name is Bloody Sign Out. I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.